Holy shit. Ever since I gave up the hope for a top four finish a long, long time ago, these kind of games have been a little bit easier to take, all these ties and, and these, these awful losses. A few days ago against Sheffield United, it felt like a loss. Today felt like a win. I'm not deluding myself. I know it's just one point, but that was a hell of a fucking point. <laughs> Didn't go down easy, man. That, that first 24 minutes, Chelsea had nine corner kicks, and then we all know what happened at the 28th minute. You dummy! <laughs> And to give a little bit of credit to Mustafi, aside from like the 10 horrible passes he did, he, you suck. He had some key blocks. But let's face it, the Premier League, it's not for you, Mustafi. It, it, it's just not for you. Now why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? I gave up hope and then was inspired up and down a million different times when Martinelli scored that goal. Martinelli! A fucking superhero if there ever was one. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Yeah, he had a little help from the Chelsea defense and Golo Conte. <laughs> and then when we gave up that second goal to Chelsea, with like six minutes left, <gasps> Arteta's men, they never quit! Arteta's men never quit! It's over! Nothing is over! Nothing! And away fans, the TV announcers were in love with you. It you guys were fantastic. New York out. Hi, AFTV. I'm pumped. I'm pumped and happy. Once for a very, very long time, I'm happy with a draw. Yes, we are down to 10 men, and we thought, oh my God, it's going to happen again. But we fought, we fought hard to come back, not once, but twice. I'm very, very proud of this team. The only thing I want to say is that Mustafi has to go. I don't care if we have to pay money for him to go, he has to go. And holding plays every single game from now to the end of the season, I don't care. But how many chances we have to give him? Because he put us in a very, very bad situation. And the team showed character and determination. And this is what we want from our Arsenal. Come on, you Gunners. What do we have coming? Bournemouth, Burnley, Olympiacos. We can do it. Let's get a nice run forward. Poor start to the game and then 30 minutes in, everybody had their rant ready against Mustafi, you can't lie. But then the team rose to the occasion, 64 minutes with 10 men, we fought with will, with character, didn't go down 3 4 5 nil like we would have done in yesteryear's, but in fact we came back not once but twice. Architects for change, two 18 year olds, Martinelli and Saka. Saka playing out of position and special mention to Martinelli, this guy's a firecracker, love him to bits, Brazilian third division, he's doing stuff that you'd expect 72 million Pepe to be doing, nothing against Pepe, he's gonna come good, but Martinelli is exceeding all expectations, he's the next best thing to happen to this club since forever. Shaka playing out of position as center back, uh, you know, and it was it was amazing the way he performed. Leadership with passion and a flawless performance. Bellerin coming back into the squad and scoring that goal, curler with his left foot. This reminded me of a goal that he scored against Liverpool a few years ago when we hammered them. How the times have changed, but it was good to roll back the years and his left foot seems to be better than his right foot, really. All in all, you know, it was a sucker punch when Aspilicueta scored. We were still proud, but it would have been a, a real sucker punch after we fought so hard. It was a FIFA-style game where we scored two with two goals in, and then uh, now Chelsea fans are moaning. So, you know, only one thing to say to them after what Aspilicueta did. So, how do you like us now? <laughs> 
This is the leader from the United Kingdom of Bumbuckler, Canada. And for you see that smile uh, like Joker, uh, you don't know so me happy proud of the boys them to the Bumbuckler. Even when you went one nil behind by that silly mistake from Musclaffy. Yes, me say Musclaffy. He may I tell you no, we wall we head and foot up and we play we take over the game. The youth them did well to Bumbuckler. Big up Martinelli. Yet in the world, your body me I tell you me have to take off the hat that me do me not advance with Martinelli. In body, I love the fight. The youth them fight well. Arteta, big up your bum buckler. Say, big up the car. Say, not the bad body bum buckler. You them today. They play well. No, I must give it up for the fans. Today for me, I uno had the man, the woman, and the boys at the match. Uno did well. I first in a long time to see the fans them go so. Uno go hard to bum buckler today. The fans. Big up on yourself, well done, Harold Performance fans, team coach, even the water guy. Everything went well. I got an idiot. You know. Hey guys, Jen from Australia back again. There's a couple things I'd like to talk to you about, but first and foremost, um, look, this season pretty much a write off for us. We just really, really need to focus on getting the team structure together. Transfers. Number one priority, we need to sign Upper Mancano. He is our number one priority, okay? We just need to get it done. I don't care how much he costs, just put it all in, commit, we need it done, okay? Number two, we need to sign a quality goal scoring midfielder, all right? We just need someone there that's gonna just put the ball in the friggin' net for us because we need some goals already, all right? And then last but not least, guys, look, I love Ozil, he's like my number one player, I love that guy. But why does he not take shots? Seriously, every game sets himself up beautifully and he just doesn't take a shot himself, he always passes it. Can someone please answer this question for me because um, it's, it's driving me crazy. All right, that's it from me guys, hope to see you next time. Oh, fuck this shit. Fuck Mustafi. This guy needs to be... We need to make a banner for him to leave this club. It's just too much. Just fucking sick of the guy's mistakes. Day in, day out. He just he just can't help himself. I mean for the draw I saw it coming, it was either a draw or a loss. No Teta needs to address this midfield. We have nothing coming from that midfield. Ozil can provide nothing for long periods of the game. No shots, no driving into spaces, no trying to commit the ball forward to look for a foul. There's just nothing coming from the midfield. Some points in the first half I saw Shaka just, instead of passing the ball to Martinelli for the run, he comes back in. The same things that were happening under Rene Emery. No commitment in the first half. And these midfielders need to leave. We need to offload Ozil. And Shaka probably can be a fringe player, but we need to get midfielders who are combatant and who look for goals and who also do the defensive work. Torreira is there, but we need someone to help him. Disappointing. Our season's done. So all Ateta can do pretty much this is it. This is the best he can do. Probably until now we get Obama Young, but now we are going to be missing in defense David Lewis. A oh, fuck Mustafi. Whoa, hello Gunners feel so good right now seriously I feel I feel elated right now seriously that was a superb performance from the lads very superb performance wonderful sp fighting spirit this fighting spirit is very encouraging seriously I want I, I just imagine if you had if you had had uh, 11 men complete what would have happened Wow that was that was awesome Honestly, Ateta is really doing beats, man. No question, Ateta is doing beats. Hmm. Mustafi. Last season against Mustafi was the down, the beginning of our downward spiral last season. And he almost cost us yesterday too. That guy should not just done as not Jesse anymore. That guy is, is, is done out here, man. Let him just get the fuck out. Honestly. Apart from that, the lads were superb yesterday. Let's keep the spirit going. Let's keep the fighting spirit going. Back at it, please. This guy is taking us. He's doing he's doing beats. He needs backing. Let's keep on doing this. 
let's keep on let's keep the focus come on you gunners man i'm just i'm just i'm really just happy right now i love this performance work come on again you gunners so when, when i saw the lineup a friend of mine told me mustafi again that he doesn't trust mustafi i said well that he had the just one mistake in the previous game against Sheffield united but let's watch so after that error he chatted me up and said what how what did i tell you i said well so I, I at the time i said let me watch this game for what his sake you know but when Arsenal started pressing even short one, you know, you know, despite David Lewis avoidable red card, you know, but he, we can we just have to pardon him for that. It's one of those things, you know, but it was the wrong timing and the wrong place to make that tackle for an experienced player. One person I have to say I gave it to is Martinelli. The composure, how he made way from our 18 down to the Chelsea 18 and come, come, finish, you know. Uh, Shaka, oh my God, Shaka was something else. To me, he was the man of the match and, you know, playing makeshift center half was awesome. He was awesome. Although the, it shows that this team needs some addition, some quality addition, especially at the back and in the middle, you know. Shaka and uh, Torea needs backup. Then as for Berlini, congratulations to him for getting that all important goal. It's time for the board. Somebody talk to the board. Let them go out there. January, don't wait for the summer. You can get players January. If you want to build a house, you can do it. You can make it one day, one block. It depends on your pocket. As for Ateta, kudos to you. Nice team spirit. All the same. Thanks once again. Chelsea 2, Arsenal 2, what a game that was. I have to be honest, I didn't watch the full match because it was like 4 a.m. in the morning for me or something like that and I fell asleep. But I've seen the highlights and I think one thing the match shows is Ateta's masterclass, his tactical masterclass to make the changes when he needed to. And also the fighting spirit of the team was amazing. This is the fighting spirit we want every single game. We cannot drop Martinelli now. That was a wonderful goal from him. Hope he continues. And hopefully we can start a run from here because this will build the morale of the team up. But once again, Mustafi let us down. He played well after that, but still that one mistake really cost us. I don't blame Luis for the red card. I just love the fighting spirit of the team. Congratulations to Hector Bellerin for coming back with the goal on his first day of return as captain and come on you gunners yeah arsenal guns out 2-2 but it's the first time i can remember that i'm so happy for a 2-2 the fight i think he was unfortunate for david louise to be off but he took one for the team take my head off to him mustafi like i said before he should never play again bring up somebody from the academy uh, play Gwendouzi in defense, play him out of position, play anybody except Gwendouzi, which makes no sense to play a person out of his position in defense, but do not play Mustafi. But after that, we played better with 10 men than we did with 11 men, and you could see the fight. But we scored, came back, I was like, okay, Martinelli got us back on the board. Uh, beautiful goal, uh, composure, his finish was awesome, and man, he could run. Uh, but when when Chelsea scored, I thought it was over. And then right there, out of nowhere, I was like most Arsenal fans, I was depressed. Oh my goodness, here we go again, we're gonna lose the game. And we came so close, just with Sheffield and now with Chelsea. But Bellerin came back, scored the goal. Awesome, 2-2, but it felt good because of the fight. Everybody, Ozil, um, Lacazette, Pepe started off slowly, but he came back strong. Uh, Martinelli, man of the match, Gwen Doozy came on, he was roughing up people. And David Luiz was roughing up his old Chelsea. It's okay, we fought, we came back, we're improving on the Arteta. You can see it, even though we're not getting the results. But until then, let's enjoy this 2-2. Guns out, Arsenal. Boom. I know it's not the best result, but from the past meetings uh, away to Chelsea, we've always lost. I just said in my preview the other day that We've been smashed 6-0. We actually never scored. There's been 6-0, 2-0, 
like four like two zeros. I mean, we never even score their place. The only time we scored was a three one loss when Giroud scored a consolation goal. So we've had some really awful days. So it was good to actually see the team giving out a good performance. Didn't matter if you were ten men, the team showed energy, the team showed character to get back into the game twice. And uh, shout out to Martinelli. I gave him a rating of 10 because he was super amazing. We, we are supposed to depend on Lacazette right now, but unfortunately he's not showing what he has right now. And Martinelli is actually giving us 100%. The drive, the force. There's a time I thought he was actually going to go off, but luckily Ateta kept him on and he actually saved us in that game. And um, Shaka, good to see Shaka actually covering at center back position. Did well. Uh, Gwenduzi came on, did well. Uh, someone like um, who else? Saka also did well again. But one thing I'd say is our centre back partnership. I mean, Mustafi and Luis. I know it wasn't Luis' fault, but Mustafi actually had some people actually say Mustafi should get a rating of six or seven because he recovered. No. I mean, how many times are you going to cost us in a game? I mean, that game would have ended up four nil because of him. And. Uh, the time he made that mistake, why not let him score, Luis? I mean, why foul him? You know you're gonna get a red card. You know you're gonna consider a penalty. You know Jorginho never misses a penalty. You're not gonna play with ten men away from home for seventy minutes. I mean, decision making by Arsenal defenders, the lack of quality is really costing us, and uh, that could be the reason you can finish uh, below the top ten this season. I mean, I'm really happy not because we got one point, but uh, because. Uh, we showed some character today. I'm proud of the team and uh, after getting the red card, I feel we played better. And uh, I, I'm seeing some, some energy in the team. Martinelli, I love the kid, man. It's, uh, he showed some character, the way he carried the ball. It shows the, um, the desire it shows something in the team now and uh, i think we can take some positive and uh, all of the players today they played well uh, starting from the back shaka he played well as a center back and then as well as uh, martinelli saka they really played so well so i'm seeing some positive and i think we are going to improve and get better we still need some more quality in our team but uh, the future looks brighter now